What's going on guys? Welcome to another project demonstration video on my YouTube channel. So this project is quite similar to my previous project, stock management. So I've, I've made few changes and improved with lots of different functionalities, has lots of different functionalities in this project like layer pad and different billing system, quite, quite interactive and responsive billing system. So in dashboard sections, we just try to include about all your daily expenses, right? All the product sales summary about uh, on the basis of last 24 hours and gives you different al different alerts whether the products are reaching their expired expiry date or they are below the critical level. That means they, they're limited in stock. So your people are categorized in, as a customers and a supplier. So you, you can keep a record about your people, about whether they are customers or the suppliers for you in this section. So the product are categorized in categories and brand where you can view different product in your where you can view different products, right? So the photo is quite comedy, uh, is quite humorous to me because um, I'm using my photo uh, in, instead of utensil soap, right? Sorry, utensil soap. So I can edit my product, I can edit my product, I can view graphically, the result can be viewed graphically, right? It's taking time to load, but still I'll explain about these in the later section of the video. And I'll explain about these in the later section of the video where I can compute new order, I can check about the previous order and compute different things on this. I can also have a summary about money transaction, I can view a graphical report, I can just go to transaction table and the improve section is something that I'm going to show you here. So meantime, I'm going to, so layer pad, I also have tried to implement a layer pad in this as a new feature. This is a basic layer pad format that many commercial companies make use. And so I try to implement something similar in this process. Fill the form accordingly and please pay the due on time. And I'm going to write something. Okay, I'm going to paste something like load and text over here, include stamp and s so if you notice, I just changed the browser. Just click, check this to include this company stamp and let me submit this. This will give you a preview about the letter pad stamp. So that looks like that has an introduction of, that has information about your company and the letter that you, do, uh, that you write and a stamp over there. Now, if I like to print that, so here is a print preview. That, that brings quite good look, right? So this is it. So this, so. let me just demonstrate my people where you, where you can store the information about the, your customers and suppliers separately and let's jump into the demonstration section so due to viewers and male female and i just feel every contact number so let me add you as a customer right so that i here we get about your customers i can edit your information i can just edit your information right okay if you are female watching so it's female if you are male watching that's that for you right so that was good the product is quite important in the section about the entire process expression. So you, you have the product is categorized on the basis of categories and the brand and the quantity remaining. You just can have a graphical overview look over here so that you can have a quick overview about stock and quantity remaining over there. So let me just go and expand this. Viva is a Nepali product chart, so that's quite interesting. Noodles, right? So we can go and edit the product. So why why? I can, if I want to update quantity, oh, this is getting low in stock. So let me just go and update quantity. 25 bucks update the quantity by 25 bucks so here you get a prompt that the YY has been updated 33 with the expenditure of this okay record it so this expenditure has been recorded over here money transaction the sale over here expenditure buying YY product by 25 quantities amount this has been recorded as expenditure this gives you total overview of your if you exp if you spend your money on buying a product that has, that has been automatically recorded this way right? the system automatically records this and gives you a pro full summary about the profit expenditure due amount remaining whether the company is in loss or profit cash received in a particular day so let me just go in in the category section what we can do is we just can add new categories add brands so the brand is successfully added over here, Chaudhary Group. Let me just go and add categories. Like, okay, here we have a few categories in this case. So the category is also successfully added. You just now can go view. You just can go view the categories. You can edit the categories. Okay, you can just go and edit the categories, or now you can also delete the categories. Would you? Okay, I want to delete the category, right? If you want to delete, so I want to delete. So this is now deleted. The status is now deleted. This is approved or active, right? So let me just now go and add new product now let me just go and add the product butter cracker now i can select the brand from available like that's totally's group biscuit category so let me just go first now i just get a dominic from google right i copy it and i'll just go i'll just go and paste it over here about butter crackers so i'll just go and upload the image of butter cracker over here butter cracker product quantity so I'm gonna upload 
I'm gonna buy 150 boxes I'm gonna buy 150 bucks no no I'm gonna buy unit so it was manufactured in April 2nd and it's gonna be expi it's gonna expire on so let me just go and select a dummy date over there that's 9th of September cash price is gonna be 15 rupees and mark price I'm gonna say let at 25 rupees and I'm gonna provide a huge discount of 15 percent is on this product so look the product is now added to the database the product is, has been added to the database which has also been recorded in a user log that I've already mentioned that new product has been added to database an expenditure of 2250 that has also been recorded in that has also been recorded in money transaction sections about the expenditure that I made buying 150 units of biscuits right so that was it I was explaining okay yeah now I can go Similarly, I can add any numbers of product in the system. Number of factories over here. Product I'm providing 15% discount, and the selling price is automatically computed. Now let me just go and view this product. Right, graphical view. So here we have, here we can have a better overview. Every actions of the, uh, the user who is logged into the system is recorded in the user log, right? So for example, the YouTube viewers of contact number, these was added by after today. I'm logged into the system, so that's basic thing. New customer YouTube viewers have been added. I've deleted that, right? But last, new product by the way, I just added that. So all those users are, all the users are those people who can access your system like they might be your employee or other people who can who can control your shop right so you have few different users over there so I can add my user on my own Google YouTube viewers username youtuber password okay YouTube email YouTube and wait gmail.com contact number 9000 Facebook link YouTube okay I'll you can assign different rules to your uh, to your user. There might be admin, there might be user, there might be delivery team, there might be employee, they might have any role. So let me just assign admin over here, and let me just upload simple photo. Okay, I'm just gonna upload this photo. Add user. This will just add you to viewers. I can just view these users over there, right? So user log has been at user log new YouTube. Viewers has been video has been viewed and new user YouTube Google YouTube viewers was added by admin right so that is added as admin so you can perform the base rules now let me just go to billing sections and billing section I can just view my previous orders like this is my company code and that was registered in 19th of April so 19th of April so my customer rock with his contact number total item bought let me just go and view this right so he just bought a utensil shop and he just cleared a due in this many history so let me just go and add let me just if I have to print this bill so the bill printing is quite interesting this time so Here you have extra information that looks similar to the bill bill number that gives a pan number information with a company logo along with the stamp with the verification indication so so now let me just go and add new order the customer is the customer is automatically suggested on the basis of the database when you keep on typing the name is automatically suggested. Now this time I'm gonna buy something interesting. I'm gonna buy basmati rice. I'm gonna buy one packet of that I'm gonna buy you can soft for two units three units. Okay, so I'm gonna buy my noodles I am fan of this. I'm gonna buy two units of that and no, no, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna buy two units and I'm gonna buy body cracker I'm one of these that dozens of that right so and now I don't have to buy it. You just can delete that automatically so when you buy this number of stock the you are compelled to give good discounts right so you can the discount is automatically computed so but I have I'm gonna pay you 3500 only right now so this come let the computer compute my due remaining and the payment gateway might be any, anything right online transactions or any so if I want to deliver the product to the customer so I, I'm gonna tick check that box and submit the order so the prompt <coughs> says that Congratulations, the order has been successfully registered. So this is the per this is a particular this is a particular order that I was talking about. So let me just go and view this to confirm this, right? So this is my okay. There is due remaining. So there are four thirty five sorry four thousand five hundred four thousand four hundred fifty three due remaining. So let me just go and pay four fifty three. Now let me submit this. This will add this will add like four hundred fifty has been four hundred fifty three has been reduced from reduced sorry reduced from the due balance. So let me just go and pay fifty. 1000 more so the due has been paid right so that's it so the due has been paid similarly in money transaction also here we can here we can see the due has been cleared the sponsor buying this sales was been recorded that was income right so 
if I choose the delivery if I choose the delivery so this was about the order number three which is reference to that order where I just can see where I just can see the particular order oh wait this second time right let me just go over here and so yeah now if I have to print this now if I have to print this the bill is quite interesting as attractive as I've already this is about this with the company verification with stamp and you can save or print this bill for a practical application also right so let me cancel this for now time being and let me just I have explained about new orders right now miscellaneous I've also discussed about this now dashboard was quite dynamic I was talking about the 20 last 24 hours sales right the new sales Jagadamba sorry Jagadamba 3 was recorded so by for the customer this I just can directly contact so delivery is has to be done on Batis Putali and delivery status is still pending the quantity he bought total is this and total quantity that we sold today is 41 in number total expenditure profit the cash summary is also displayed here and paid and due status is also shown over here so here are some alerts border cracker is already going has been already expired also so we have to buy better butter the wave application that I'm talking about the, about stock management is responsive and can be used in any browser like I'm using in Chrome in left and in A's in right Microsoft A's in right so that works perfectly fine in both the browsers right in any size it's quite responsive it's big it's good it's small it's good right so it's good thank you for watching everybody make sure you subscribe to my channel for future updates